Hi, Kate Hurtwick here with part two of the neuroscience behind art therapy. You're going to want to go back and watch part one or this is not going to make any sense. So where we left off, right, we know that with the emotional nature of the art therapy process, right, because if you're making art in a therapeutic relationship, it's going to be emotional in nature. So through the creative process, we're going to have that grounding nature of the art making process that's soothing the amygdala. Um, your brain stem, the animal part of your brain is naturally soothed and online as there's different sensory motor systems and again the grounding effect of art making process. Your um, cognitive processes are going to be online as you're verbally um, and cognitively thinking um, and expressing in words about your artwork. And then the left and right hemispheres of the brain are going to be online with the creative part of the brain and the logical part of the brain as you begin to analyze with your art therapist. So now we're talking about all different parts of all different areas of the brain being online. And what's so effective about EMDR, which is that the whole brain is activated, is the same effectiveness as art therapy that the whole brain is activated, and that is powerful in healing.